Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad Christian coming at you with another exciting video. Today I'm bringing you what I believe is the best laptop you can get right now if you want something that's light, portable, and powerful. This is the Razorblade 2017 model with the KB Lake processor and an NVIDIA 1060 graphics card. I'm also going to do a video comparison between last year's 2016 model and this one, so look for that. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. Now let's go over the hardware. On the right hand side sits a Kensington lock, a full size HDMI 2.0 port, one USB 3 and a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port. On the left side is an AC adapter port, two USB 3 ports, a combo mic slash headphone jack, and the design has not changed over the last couple years, but the internals are vastly improved this year. The only model you can get at the time of this video in March is the Full HD model, which is 1080p with 60 hertz refresh. The IPS panel is beautiful, and as you can see, there is no color shifting or haziness when looking at it off angle. Now there is going to be a 4K touchscreen option coming later this year, which is a change from the almost 4K option that we had. Battery life is the best I've seen on any gaming laptop to date with normal use, such as streaming Netflix, watching YouTube, reading social media. I can get about seven and a half hours plus. This thing is a battery beast. What's under the hood is a Core i7 7700HQ processor. This has 16 gigs of soldered on DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM, which is an improvement from last year's model, which was a 2133 megahertz. You also have your choice of 256, 512, or one terabyte PCIe SSD drives. Now the graphical enjoyment's gonna come from an NVIDIA GeForce 1060 card with six gigs of DDR5 VRAM, which will play all the AAA titles with high frame rates and 4K with most titles still able to achieve close to 60 frames per second, which we'll get into later in this video. The keyboard is a fully individually lit RGB system and feels excellent to type on. It is one of the best keyboards there is on any laptop. The only gripe that I have is that they still don't have any lighting for the secondary function keys on the top. I hope they have that in the next version. I do have my keys color coded for more the more important keys such as you know, I have yellow is going to be for your display and green is going to be for your volume. So that way, at least in the dark, I can tell right away which ones that I need to change. And because they are individually lit with the Synapsys software tool, you can change those to be any way you want. The trackpad on this is the best trackpad of any Windows machine. It feels like an extremely fast, smooth glass finish. It does have two buttons. It has a right and a left button on here. Now, if you don't like using the physical buttons, you can tap on the trackpad and it has uh, you know, all of your Windows gestures. Now, fan noise, this is incredible, or should I say no fan noise. The system at complete idle has zero fan noise. The fans do not come on. Of course, when you're gaming, you can get this cranked up pretty good. So we're gonna show you some fan noise here on how loud it does get. Now the temperatures are also very cool on this model compared to the last couple of generations of the razor blade. This is the highest temp I got while doing a 20 minute overclocking test and I'm using the OCCT to do that. Now remember I am undervolting the processor so I'm getting around 7 to 10 degrees cooler than normal temps. I'll leave a link down below for you guys on how you can do that with your own system. The speakers are the same ones as the last generation that get pretty loud and are top firing which I love. Now let's get into gaming and benchmarking. So you can see here that it's running Doom Ultra 1080, everything cranked to the absolute max, and you're getting anywhere from 70 to 80 frames per second, just depending on how much is going on on the screen. And let me show you some of the benchmarks here real quick. So first up, we got Fire Strike. It's got a score of 9022. That's a great score. Then we've got Time Spy. It scored a 3483. And next we've got our Unigen Heaven benchmark. You can see that its score is a 1882. So you can see that this will play any AAA title that you throw at it, which also includes anything with VR, whether it's Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive. So fantastic gaming machine. In conclusion, this laptop has the power to be a gaming beast. It's beautiful. It's not too gamerish looking for power meetings. You won't be embarrassed traveling around with this. It's light, it's portable, and it has the best battery in its class for students or professionals that need all day use. I'm gonna highly recommend this device, and it's a touchdown in my book. So that's been it for my video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up. 
I'll see you guys on the next video.